Let's take a look at a cool option where we can add transparency to certain objects so that we can see a little bit of what's underneath them. Let's just set the stage here. We've got a person over here on the left, a box with some text on it over here. And what I want to do is I want to move this text box onto the person, but I still would like to see what's underneath the text box so that I bring some continuity to the person and don't cut her in two with this box. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select both of my shapes. And then I'm going to slide those right on top of her. And you see we've got these feet and then we've got a body. But we want to see what uh, a little bit of her and let her show all the way through underneath. So what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the text box on top of it, which is just underneath the text. And then I'm going to come up to the fill bucket. And instead of choosing a color, I'm going to go to custom. And when you come to the custom, there's two choices. One of them over here is how dark or how light you want your color. But this right hand bar sets the transparency so that we can see through that particular shape underneath. And the more you slide this down, the more transparent your object is. So I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. Click OK. Ooh, look at that. Now we're starting to see her underneath there. And the, then what you do is you just keep coming back to your custom until you get just about the right uh, transparency so you can see what's underneath it but your text still shows nicely on top of that. Let's take a look at another example that I've set up here. I've got a picture of a mountain and I've got this text on top of it that you can barely read. I don't know if you can see it but it says I love the mountains. Uh, really tough. Now in Google we can't very well go back in and wash out this picture so that it kind of dim it down without going into Photoshop or some other program. But what we most people do when they have the situation is they just create a background and then make it transparent on the text object. So let's do that all together. Now notice I've selected my I Love the Mountains text box and that's all that is. That's just the text box that I drew out. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to set my fill color again using custom. Now the first thing I do is I don't want red background. I want a white background and you'll see why as we do this. And if I click OK that is not what we want, right? We want to be able to see that picture through there, but still just kind of be able to see the text we've got. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go to custom again. And now we're going to start just tweaking this uh, white and make it show through so that we can see the mountains behind it, but we can still read the text in our text box. So see that mountain starting to show through? Now in this particular case, we could probably go a little bit more transparency so we'll just keep adjusting it that was probably a little too much you just want to bump it a little bit at a time so that you can still see your text but the picture shows through nicely oh there that's looking pretty nice now I can just shrink that down if I want to I can move that over here it doesn't really matter where I put this now I'm gonna be able to read it I don't have to worry about the uh, getting it just on the right part of the background so that's a great way to use transparency. I use it all the time. It's very, very useful. Mm -hmm.